is being wild. He loves lettuce, but he does not like being touched. If you stand, pop up. <laughs> Um, I've been to the, I've never been to the zoo here in the States. I've been to the zoo in Australia when I went for, when, for a signing, like, I want to say it was 2016. So like, where are we, three years ago? And it was amazing. I got to meet my readers and on top of that, I got to hold a koala bear. And that's the only place that we have ever gone to the zoo. We have a zoo here in Tampa, which is Larry Park Zoo, and I have never been. I am so excited. I love animals. I love all that. I'm all about that life. So I can't wait. What are you most excited to see at the zoo today? The exit. Yeah. <laughs> I made Ben fall asleep from the zoo. And he's gonna have the best time of his life. Ain't from around here. It ain't from around here. It kind of looks like Teddy with no hair. Uh, he looks like he's a snuggler. Look at the gators. Yes, he's stuck. Look. Oh, it's so cute. It's not cute. You're mean. You're mean? He's just like living his best life over there, though, you know? He's got armor everywhere, doesn't he? He does. He looks like he's dressed up in a little armor suit. Like, that's not his real outfit. It's not his skin, you know? Look at her tail. Wagging their tails, you think they're going to be happy? Yeah, shaggy wags his tail. Here. Ooh, tagging. Oh, look at that. Dude, he looks huge. He's like cheese. I mean, look at him though. He's half shade, half sun. Hey, do you see this? We're almost the same size. This one? This one? This one? This one? This one? It's like the size of left. He weighs like how much Ted weighs. I've never seen one of those. Oh. Awesome. Who's going to go first? This is Bingwa. He loves lettuce, but he does not like being touched. If you stand, pop up. Oh my god. You can go ahead and feed the other one. You get two for ticket. Oh, that was nerve-wracking. <laughs> are you going to take two or are you giving them to her? He's giving them to me. <laughs> okay, here. You get two more then. Oh. Cool. Oh. 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 That was really nerve-wracking and I totally screamed, but it was so worth it. <laughs> so, we are on our way to the boat and I am so excited because I am going to show you guys what it looks like right now before all the renovations and like the craziness that Boss Man wants to do with it begins. So we are on our way there now. It's over in Port Charlotte, so it takes us about, I don't know, maybe like, hour and a half, two hours, depending on traffic to get there. So once we get there, I'm gonna show you guys and Boss Man is gonna try to kind of play, um, what's the word I'm looking for? I guess play, huh, what is the word I'm looking for? You know what I mean. He's gonna try to tell you what he plans on doing with it. So right now we bought in some wallpaper and like some other things to try to move in into our master bedroom as soon as possible. But we are very excited and I can't wait to show you guys, so. See you in a little while. All 
right, so here's the master. Thea, what do you want to do back here? This is getting a new headboard. You can see where the old one was. The sun stained it. Okay. So that I have a new padded headboard. There used to be a little light there, a little reading light. Mm -hmm. So that'll finish off this wall pretty much. I'm going to trim out the top here with some teak. That'll finish that off. But you already got the, so we got the lights put in, which are the lights right there, one, two, and three. And then he actually did more lights back here. So this is actually something he did this weekend, and this is what we picked out the other day. And I wish you guys could see the texture that is on here, but it's like, it's almost got like little lines in it, and the texture is so cool. So what are you gonna do right here? Are we gonna put night, this is gonna be a nightstand, it's gonna stay like that? Yeah, just gotta get it closed. There's little panels and stuff and close all these areas. And then this is what? Well, the doors are at the shop. They've been refinished. They'll be put back on soon. So this is like a closet. Yep. And then down here, I don't know if you guys, there you go, you can see. There's more storage space. So this boat has so much more storage space than our other one had. But he has done the carpets inside of the cabinets. So these are will be more, car more cabinets right here, but the doors are at his shop and then more cabinets there. So there's so much storage space on this boat, and this is only the master. So here, we're gonna do some cool paneling, right? Some yeah. sort of cool paneling. That's where that uh, foam back stuff goes. And then, oh, okay, so we already have that stuff. It's the stuff that's out there. Foam back stuff that gets put down here. And then, what are you gonna do up here? That'll be a um, masonite type countertop. Kind of looks like a porch. Here's where our TV's gonna go. And we're, we're thinking about getting one of those TVs that like pull out. That way we can kind of move it this way if we want or move it against that wall over there. So, boss man says we might not be able to because the boat shakes too much. can't articulate that much. Yeah, so we'll see. And then here we have another closet. So like I said, there's so much storage space. And then here, is an even another closet and then same concept on this side guys and then this is the shower and this is a huge shower for a boat like huge this is why boss man doesn't want me to have vibrant mermaid hair anymore he likes these pastel colors because my hair bleeds so bad and this white shower turns into like a barney murder scene now what are you thinking as far as the floors they might, might do new new this is teak and poly okay so I might put a new piece of that in here. New piece of this, the same thing? This stuff here, this is teak and these little uh, white lines are holly. Okay. And they're sandwiched together. Ooh. And then here is where the potty goes. And this is the mirror that we were thinking about putting here. Yeah. What do you think? Put it up it, real quick? It'll work fine, it's just, I gotta frame it. I'm gonna put a new piece of wood up here and frame it in so that it fits better. Hey. Okay, so that's what it'll look like. Ooh, that actually looks really cool. See, Boss Man loves this color right here. Like, he loves this natural teak wood, and I hate it. I feel like, I don't know, I don't like glossy wood, but I mean, it works for a boat, but if this was my choice, I would take it all out. This is like the most expensive wood in the world. I know, I know, but I still, okay, don't feel it. All right, so this is the second room. And as you can tell, we haven't even, or Bossman hasn't even gone in here yet. But this is the bunk bedroom. So there's gonna be one bed right here. Right now we're just kind of using it for whatever. And then there's gonna be a second bed down here. And as you guys can see, there's more drawer space down there. And then back here, and that space right here is where our washer and our dryer is going. So the fact that we even have a washer and dryer on this boat is freaking amazing. All right, so then here we have another shower back there. So each bathroom or each hey, each uh, room has its own bathroom. All right, so this is the kitchen slash master. This will all be countertop. Just like in the master, it'll be like a, a porch type countertop and the TV will come up here. That'll be like the entertainment center. It'll be a wraparound couch here. And then, this will be like a nice little bar area. Have Here's where the refrigerators will be in? Two refrigerators right here on your counter refrigerators. Okay. Right here. They wrap around and you should. But this is going to be like an island, right? And this little, yeah. Yeah, like a counter space. Yes. Okay. Bar. Kind of okay. This is where the sink's going to be. Hold on, scoot over. I can't see. The sink will be here. Okay. So it will be here. 
This most likely will be some kind of microwave slash shell thing. And this will have some type of door on it, and it'll have pull out, long haul pull outs for storage. Mm -hmm. That's all the way back there. Mm -hmm. ACs, AC vents all the way around. This is where all the storage is for all the extra components back there. We'll have a dining room table here that will be built to fit this area. And then this is another bar, wet bar kind of thing. There's a little sink right here. The TV is actually going to come out from the cabinet, so like we're going to be able to press a button to put the TV back into the cabinet, and then press a button to bring the TV back out. So that's pretty cool. And then, what are you thinking as far as flooring and stuff in here? Are you going to do something similar to what's down there right now? Um, maybe I don't know. Depends on how this comes out. But this this is the line right here where that's a sheet. That's good sheet. That can still be refinished. This stuff, I don't know. It just got into crap, I guess, because people walked on it so much. Mm -hmm. But this is also sitting on it, so this whole thing would have to come out to replace these two sheets. So it's a lot of work, and I don't know which way I'm going with it yet. Just depends on how easy it comes up. And then what are you thinking over here? Carpet? This is gonna definitely going to be perfect because the engines are directly low, so it needs as much insulation as possible to keep the noise down. Okay. And then the mirror, the windows, they're all being replaced as well, too. Black. Looks like they have cracks in them, but it's just a tent. Yeah, they don't have cracks in them. What's your favorite part of the entire inside of the boat that you can't wait to get done? I mean, this is going to be awesome. This is like a small apartment right here. It's going to be a really comfortable area. We keep going back and forth with possibly selling our house, guys, and living on this for a second once it's done. Um, and to be honest, the reason we haven't done it yet is because we have Troopy, our oldest dog, that's 13 and he's still kicking it, so he can barely walk, so he couldn't. we couldn't have him live on a boat, but that's pretty much our biggest factor, but I think we're gonna end up selling our house and just living on this for a second, just kind of seeing how we like it, because we love boat life. We stayed on our other boat all summer, like slept there, lived there for like four months, and it was just, I lived my, we lived our best life every day. What you doing? Being annoyed by my wife. <laughs> that was quite a, Quite a straight cut you got there, bro. Okay, do the outro. Just be like, I hope you guys love the boat. And come back when it's done. <laughs> All right, say thanks, everybody. Bye. <laughs> um, that's our bathroom. So you know what love is is when you're peeing in a bucket. Okay, that's what love is. <laughs>